Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I just wanted to give a little update since I haven't been on here in a while. Now I'm in the third trimester, but I'm first going to start off by talking about... <coughs> oh. <coughs> first going to start off by talking about going all the way back, well right now I'm 32 weeks, so I'm going to first talk, talk about my 27 week doctor's appointment. So 27 week doctor's appointment is when I got my glucose test and I heard so many like horror stories about the drink you have to drink for it and honestly it was not bad. Like. The way people hyped it up was crazy to me because I downed it in less than a minute and it, it just tasted like really strong fruit punch. I got fruit punch flavor and it wasn't bad at all. I was shocked at how not bad it was because of everything I've heard. I guess there's a three hour glucose test that you can take too, but and that one I guess is worse. I don't know. I only took the one that you drink and then you have to wait an hour only and it was not bad at all. And then on that appointment, they just asked me some like basic questions like do I want to get my baby circumcised and do I want natural childbirth or an epidural and stuff like that. Like what's going to happen like as I'm giving birth basically. So after that um hour of waiting they take my blood and then they tested the glucose and they also did my blood work and a couple weeks well like a week later i got my blood work back and it turns out i'm slightly low in iron and i started freaking out and i was like they'd call me if something's wrong they'd call me if something's wrong they never called me or maybe they did but i don't answer phone numbers i don't know and so I started eating like really iron rich foods like fortified cereals and like you know lean red meat and stuff like that but then turns out like a week after the blood work came in my doctor did write a note in there saying I should start taking the iron pill so I didn't see it until a couple days ago on my 32 week appointment so yesterday was my 32 week appointment and I saw it a couple days before that appointment and she was like yeah just take it it's fine if you start taking it now your baby's fine and so on the 32 week appointment all she did was really like listen to the baby's heartbeat answer some questions give me a tdap vaccine which is like whooping cough i think tuberculosis and something else kind of vaccine and that vaccine um goes to your baby too so when the baby's born it has some immunity to those things i guess whooping cough is cough is like horribly bad for a baby and what else happened at that appointment oh i'm so freaking excited so I was telling her about how paranoid I was about having a big baby because I want to do natural childbirth. But if my baby's going to end up being like 9, 10 pounds, I don't know. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could push out a 9 or 10 pound baby naturally with no medication. So she's like, you know what, At your next appointment, let's do it. Let's do a quick ultrasound to see where he's at. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? I get to do another ultrasound? Like, I'm so freaking excited because in my 20 week ultrasound, his hands were in front of his face. So I couldn't even see what he looked like. So hopefully, hey you, don't put your hands in front of your face. Cause I wanna see what he looks like. So I'm so excited about that. So I know a lot of people go to the doctor a lot during their pregnancy. But I went at 27 weeks and then I just went again at 32 weeks and now I don't go back for four weeks. So what's that? 
36 weeks, I'll go back. And then after 36 weeks, I go back uh, I think a week and a half after that. And then after that appointment, I go every week, I think, until my due date. I'm not sure. I only schedule the next three appointments. So maybe it's more than once a week at the very, very end, like when you're close to 40 weeks. I'm not sure. But I'm excited for that. So that's all the news I have on my doctor's appointments. But let me just talk about the third trimester in general. So second trimester, I was on a high. I had energy, I was getting things done, I was making lists, I was just like on top of my stuff. And then the third trimester hit, and then it sucked. Like the third trimester, as of today, I don't think it's as bad as the first trimester. But, like, the first couple weeks in the third trimester, I thought they were way worse than the first trimester. My whole body hurts. Like, you can't do things you want to do. You're, you know, you can't pick things up off the floor that easy. It's hard to get things done around the house because you are out of breath. It's just not the greatest. But now being at 32 weeks pregnant, I'm like used to it. I'm finally used to being pregnant and it's almost over. It's kind of like weird. So I have heartburn, but I got my whole bed set up with the pillows. I know what to do if I get heartburn. It's not that bad anymore. I can sleep sitting up. I'm used to not sleeping as much like from peeing all the time so I just like you just get used to things I feel like so I'm like used to being like really miserably pregnant right now and it just doesn't seem that bad anymore to be honest um what else is going on oh <sighs> okay so my baby's room almost had it completely done you guys completely done almost and I go to drill a hole in the ceiling of the baby's room to hang a hook to hang a planter and guess what happens a bunch of vermiculite comes out of my ceiling and if you don't know what vermiculite is it's like it looks like tiny like pebbles or like gravel and it has like well the ones that I have in my ceiling have like gold flakes on it and I was like, this doesn't seem normal. Google it, 75% of vermiculite contains asbestos. So I might have just contaminated my whole baby's room with asbestos. We have it sealed off and we are waiting on test results to see if it has any asbestos in it. Fingers crossed, like please, Jesus, somebody help me, like I, <laughs> The thought of having to throw away every piece of fabric in that bedroom, like you go wipe down the hard surfaces apparently and like get it professionally cleaned, but all the fabric they suggest throwing away. So like my baby chair I bought, the rug, the mattress, uh, some blankets that family members have handmade were all in there. The clothes, I was my favorite sweatpants I was wearing. So I'm just hoping and praying that it's not asbestos because the stress. Like I'm just thinking like next month's my due date. Yeah, my due date is literally the last day of June. But what if he comes early? And it's like, it's just a big stress. So I'm trying to keep calm. But... Honestly, like at the end here, I'm feeling pretty good. Like today I walked like a mile. I felt like kind of like he was going to fall out afterwards. But I mean, like I said, you just get like used to feeling a certain way 
in your third trimester and you're just like, this is normal. I don't see it as that much of a burden anymore. I'm used to just always hurting. Like my back hurts all the time. Still constipated, trying to chug the water. And apparently iron pills make you even more constipated. So I'm so excited about that. Um, what else is going on? Oh, another thing that happened in the third trimester. Finally got stretch marks. I didn't get them on my stomach though. I got them on like the sides of my butt. So, yeah, that's a thing. And honestly, at this point, I'm just like, I don't even care. <laughs> like at this point in life, I'm like a stretch mark. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> like whatever. Um. So yeah. I think it's because I've gained way more weight than I was supposed to. Like I'm 20 pounds heavier than my pregnancy app told me I should be at my due date. So maybe that's why I got stretch marks. I'm thinking maybe because if I would have stayed the weight it said I was supposed to stay, I don't think I would have gotten the stretch marks. So I don't know. And oh, and along with that, so I didn't think I was like eating that much more than I was supposed to. Because you're only supposed to add like 300 calories on your normal diet. I started counting my calories on an app and I was like, holy crap. I am eating way more calories than I'm supposed to eat. And my doctor's like, yeah, you might have a big baby if you're eating really unhealthy. And I'm just like... But Taco Bell, you guys, Taco Bell. So I went to the grocery store, bought a whole bunch of like fruits, vegetables, all sorts of stuff. It's not like I was eating like horribly bad, but I would make like pasta and eat way more, which is also stupid of me because when you get heartburn, like literally Google like 30 weeks pregnant. And it'll show inside a human, like a woman's body, and her lungs are kind of like up, like folded, weird. And then her stomach, it's like you don't have any room in there. So if you're overeating or eating as much as you used to, it's like everything's kind of like pushing back up. And this baby is always sitting right here. Do I have a stain on my shirt? I have a stain on my shirt, don't even know. My baby's always sitting like right here, and I'm like, wait, that's where my stomach used to be. Where's my stomach? So I think him pushing his butt, I think it's his butt. Like I could feel his whole back on this side of my body all the time. I think he's in the head down position already. I'm not sure, but I know for sure this has to be his back because it's too hard and too long to be anything but his back. And it's always just like, you know, pushing. And then I'll get the kicks where he kicks me. And that's like the thing that kind of I like about being this pregnant is before I used to like not be able to feel him for a while and I would freak out like is something wrong with him? I can't feel him. I haven't felt him in like hours I feel. And I would like do jumping jacks and like put the light on the stomach and like drink a bunch of cold water and like everything under the sun to try to get him to move because I was paranoid. But now it's like I can feel every single movement this kid makes. So it kind of puts my mind at ease that I could feel them all the time. <sighs> what else is going on with me? Constipation, heartburn, stretch marks. My belly button still hasn't popped out yet. That's exciting. I have like this thing going with Jesse where I'm telling him my button is going to stay inside my, it's going to stay and he thinks it's going to pop out. But I'm like, I'm almost at the <coughs> end. Like if I last until 40 weeks, maybe it'll pop out. Maybe. But my play button is deep. 
Like it is in there. It's still not popping. So yeah, that's that the little things in life, you guys, man. The little things in life. What else? I feel like there's not much else new on the third trimester except for like my back hurts way more, my heart burns way worse. I my the whole kick, getting kicked in the vagina thing, that pain is like crazy. If I do too much stuff around the house or I've been gardening gardening a lot lately. Oh my god. I feel like he's going to fall out. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, it's all good. So, that's about it. I still have like two months left, hopefully. I feel like I need all the time I can get to get this house ready. I got to do the whole asbestos thing if there's asbestos. There's so much stuff I want to like deep clean still. <sighs> so, so yeah. That's my pregnancy update. Let me get you a little bump shot because especially for those people who know me in real life have been like, why don't you have any pictures? I don't have any pictures of my bump on social media because I just feel gross. I don't feel cute pregnant. I feel gross pregnant. But here it is. He's in there living his best life. So yeah, that's my little pregnancy update, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.